Hello everyone, welcome in. It is time for tea. That's right, this is Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I'm Deborah, and um, this is your first time here. Welcome in, stick around, you might like it. I appreciate you coming by. If you've been here before, welcome back and thank you. I would appreciate if you would uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. What are we doing for tea today? Well, today I decided to leave my Sips by box on the side, well that's hard to say, Sips by box. And um, go for some tea that we had up on our tea shelf. Yes, we have an entire shelf of tea in my house. Um, this is one that you can get at the grocery store. It is called Bigelow Salty Caramel. Now this is family tea blender since 1945. It's an American tea and I think we either got this at a grocery store or at Walmart or something. Salted caramel. Now the way they do their teas for Bigelow you get a little foil packet and it tells you all about it but it keeps it nice and sealed in there and on the side of this tea this one is black tea natural flavors uh, rose hips and chicory root don't know how that makes caramel out of that but hey whatever right it is brewing the suggested steep time is four minutes or whatever you like since it's bigger than a normal tea mug you see the ladybird on one side and you see miss beanie on the other this mug of course uh some of lisa ladybird loves merch and this was sent to me by the wonderful karen y thank you um gosh this smells heavenly <laughs> if you love salted caramel the smell alone will make you want this tea. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have this in my hand, this is hooked to a tea bag. This is my little, I love my cat, clothespin or peg as they call it over the pond apparently. And um, this keeps the, this from going away and I can just stand it up because it is nice and square. So that, yeah, the tea bag can get its little movement on without the, the, uh, the tag going bloop right in there. I've got my timer on uh, timing for the rest of it because otherwise I lose track of time and I have no idea how long anything has steeped. Um, but this being a black tea, none of that herbal yuckiness that some of our friends don't like. I do kind of like herbal tea, but this just smells wonderful. I just want to sit here and sniff it. Mm, that is super nice. There is the timer for five minutes because I did start it, you know, before I pushed the record button. Hello. Going to sweeten it um, with my stevia because I do like my tea, especially my black tea, to have a little sweetness to it. Maybe that's from being in the South for so many years. Who knows? And next to me, I do have some of my creamer if I decide to uh, put some creamer, some milk in it. Okay, and it says do not squeeze the tea bag. Okay, y'all. Not squeezing. Not squeezing. Putting it on the plate and moving it across. <sighs> the color is a nice, and it's going to be impossible to see, caramelly brown. Just a wonderful black tea color. And I know this is going to be too hot. Oh my gosh. Yes, we're going to have to do the, the blow and sip. You really get the caramel. It tastes like somebody drizzled caramel in your tea. Yes, I'm going to do it again because that one little sip was not enough. You know that. <coughs> and that, my friends, is what happens when you try to actually inhale your tea. I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with the tea. Just my drinking method for this super hot tea. It is quite delicious, by the way. <clears throat> but I'm going to put in a little vanilla creamer. Zero sugar. Because vanilla creamer does add a nice flavor and a nice milkiness. I love milk in my tea. I love cream in my tea. Yes. Stir that around. Oh, <clears throat> now I'm getting vanilla with the salted caramel. Try not to inhale it this time. Mm. 
that's perfection right there and a cup of tea and right there at a beanie face hello <clears throat> salted caramel but it's not hitting you over the head with the salt but it's just a nice caramel that's not overly sweet you get that little hint of a salty taste in there but it's not like salt um, the black tea is a nice base for it. It's a good tea. Bigelow makes some decent tea. The vanilla, though, on top of it, that just makes this like, yes, I'm drinking my dessert now. Thank you very much. Oh, if it would just cool down enough to actually get a big, good drink in. Hmm. Even when the spoon comes out, it's still too hot. Because this one says, full rolling boil before you pour the water over. So it's got to brew from very, very hot. Oh, and this does have caffeine. <clears throat> uh, content per serving, it says 30 to 60 milligrams of caffeine. That's quite a range now, isn't it? I guess it depends on how long you steep and all that good stuff. But it says you can make iced tea out of this too. I don't know. I think the caramel... Um, would work better as something warm, warm and cozy instead of something iced. Black tea is nice iced, but caramel, not so sure about that. And I'm not going to waste a tea bag or three making iced tea out of this lovely deliciousness. Mm. But yes, <clears throat> the tea with the vanilla in it. And if you don't have vanilla creamer, if you just have milk, you can just take like a literal couple of drops of vanilla extract with some milk and put it in there. And I'm sure that that would have a very similar effect. Or if you make vanilla sugar, use that instead. But yeah, the vanilla, the caramel, and the salted caramel Bigelow tea, nice a purchase. Best enjoyed by June of 2024. No chance this will last until 2024. I can guarantee that. Um, it is a wonderful. Let's see, they've got something on the top. I think that their packaging changed. I think that's what they're telling us here. <clears throat> it used to be this one here, and now it's like that more, oh, we're fancy now. This one was playful, this one was fan, not, not fancy, fancy. Okay, you gotta get it right. <laughs> Do you like caramel? Do you like to eat caramels? I don't like eating caramels. Like like just, you know, the, the, the square rectangular caramels because they're very, very chewy and I feel like I'm gonna rip a filling out. Cause yeah, I got fillings. Um, I do like caramel in stuff. Oh yes. I mean, what fat chick wouldn't, right? I am a fat chick. This is fat chick approved. And I'm going to sit back and relax and drink my tea and snurf of it. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Thanks for coming by. We do have um, time for tea every week. Playlist either here or down in the description. There's also snacks around the world, so don't miss those either. And uh, well, it's all the other little bits and bobs and things down in the description. Thank you so much for coming by. I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.